Hi, this is Barry here. So how do I build my business with email marketing? Now it looks like from this question that this person might have a little bit of a business built already and they're wondering, well, how can I slot email marketing onto my business? Now, if you are new to email marketing, if you've never done it before, the first thing you need to do is you need to start collecting email addresses. Now to collect email addresses, you will need to put an opt-in form on your blog maybe a landing page, maybe a sidebar of your website or whatever, but you need to have something on your site that will allow people to give over their email address to you. And you also need to create something that is of value to them that's going to make them want to hand over their email address. You know, it used to be that you could just put an opt-in box and people would just fill it in and give you it automatically. But nowadays you need to provide something of value because when you think about it, how many websites do you and I have we signed up to? all the social media accounts, all the different kind of platforms. And we're getting so many emails coming in. A lot of us have got really, really selective in how we give our email away. So when it comes to building an email list, you need to give something of value to that person. Now, what I would recommend in this case, this person is to think from your customers or your viewers point of view, because unfortunately, sometimes we get so fixated in our business. We don't look at it from the other side. You know, if a brand new person came to your website today, what would be the first impression? What would make them want to hand over their email address to you? What could you provide to them that would be of so much value that they just say, I need that thing. I need to download the report. I need to find out that trick. I need to sign up to that video course. You need to give them something of value that will make them want to do that. So again, take yourself out of your business and look at it from the other side. If someone landed on your page today, what would make them want to give over an email address? Now, when it comes to email addresses, a lot of us, unfortunately, sometimes collect them, collect them, collect them and don't take any action with them. And that's a total waste of time. You know, what's the point of collecting all these people's email addresses if you're not going to do anything with them? So what you need to do is you need to have an autoresponder account. Now, you can get those with GetResponse. You can go to Aweber. There's a lot of a big kind of well-known names. I'm sure if you do a search for autoresponder services, you will find a lot of them. Now, I have used MailChimp sometimes. At the moment, I'm using a one called MailerLite, which is very, very cheap to use. But you will need to sign up to uh, one of those services. So what you'll do is you'll give all those email addresses over to that autoresponder. And then what you can do is you can maybe write a daily email or maybe you can write maybe a weekly newsletter or something like that. So you're able to send an email out to all those people at the same time. So if I was looking to build my business with email marketing, those are the steps you need to do. You need to create something of value that someone is going to give their email address over for. And then you need to take those emails and you need to put them into an autoresponder. Now, when you have those people on an email list, maybe you already have maybe a website with products, services on it already. What you can do is the bigger number of people you have on your email list, what you can do is you can drive that traffic back to your site again and again and again. Now, sometimes you'll find that people won't take action on your site the first time they land on it they mightn't buy your product maybe until maybe the fifth maybe the tenth time they arrive at your page so what i would do is just constantly recycle those people drive that traffic back through that site again and again and again you will find some people will drop out from time to time because maybe they're not interested in the products the services or whatever you're trying to sell let them go they're not your audience don't worry about losing subscribers because you will be gathering more and more that you'll also be putting fresh ones in to replace the ones that were already there so when it comes to kind of building your business, at least when you have an email list, it's almost like having a social media platform of your own. But instead of maybe putting a Facebook post on where maybe only one or two percent of people see your post, when you send an email out to your list, sometimes it could be maybe 10, 15, maybe 20 percent of your audience will actually read your content and sometimes take action and go over to wherever you're directing them to. So always start collecting emails, even if you don't know what you're going to do with them right now start collecting them right now today and again think to yourself how can i make it so valuable to my listener to my reader to my viewer that's going to guarantee that they will sign up and give me their email address and then after that i'll probably cover it in upcoming videos but that's what i would do in the very very beginning start collecting those email addresses and do it today have a lovely day Bye bye